And turning to the forecast now, Brian Bachman in tonight. And things are going to start changing with the weather. We've had a lot of sunshine recently, Brian, mm -hmm. but it looks like that rain's moving in. Yeah, for at least about a 24-hour period here. This is going to be several days' worth of rain, fortunately. Or rather, just some showers gradually developing later on tonight into our Thursday. And then a big dose of some heavy rain Thursday night before we clear right back out for the weekend. Look at a Fox Radar 3D. Today has just been kind of a back and forth between clouds and clear skies, although the clouds are steadily going to start Start to win the battle as we head into the overnight period. Also had this plume of showers in the eastern part of South Carolina, you know, occasionally trying to tiptoe closer to the upstate, but uh, does not appear to have the support right now to get any of those into our area. Although I do expect that's going to start to change later on tonight. And then especially when you see that cold front moving through the central US, when that heads our way tomorrow night, that will bring with it a much heavier dose of some rain. So there you see it on the future cast 11 PM tonight. You start to see those hints of mostly some light showers, misty precipitation precipitation popping up in parts of the mountains. They'll mostly hover there into the start of our Thursday morning commute, but you see some occasionally spilling over into the upstate. It's pretty much the name of the game throughout our Thursday, a showery kind of dreary day at times, especially in parts of Western North Carolina with drier conditions in the upstate. Similar story through the evening commute on Thursday, but then there you see it Thursday night between 8 to 9 p.m. Big shot of heavier rain spilling in over the western mountains at first into the upstate around midnight uh, Thursday night into Friday and then eventually uh, carrying on and uh, out of the picture as we start to head into Friday morning. So fortunately, this rain's not going to be sticking around very long, but could create, of course, some uh, tough travel overnight tomorrow and maybe even some uh, areas of flooding in low lying areas will keep you attuned to the forecast as that rain approaches. Of course, that continuing coverage will be on our Fox uh, Carolina newscast into tomorrow morning all throughout the morning news and again tomorrow evening. And don't forget to download the Fox Carolina news app where you can stay up to date on the weather 24 seven as well as the news. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and YouTube too.